Hi. Thank you for being here. Today we're looking at my 151 Pokemon TCG collection. And we're also going to be doing some sorting and organizing. So I've got some cards to add to the binder today. Quite a bit. I have this whole <laughs> stack of cards here that I need to add into the binder. And I need to go through these to see if there's anything that I don't already have in here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. A little note on my process and what goes in here and what doesn't and all that stuff. So um, I'm not trying to complete a master set, so I've decided not to do that because that is really, really stressful and very, very expensive. But I'm trying to get as close to completion as possible just because this series is really nostalgic to me and I really love it and I think that the cards are very beautiful. But I have my way of determining whether or not I have a card and if I'm going to pursue trying to get a card or things like that. I think that at this point I might not be opening any more booster packs just because I think I have like at least most of the common cards, maybe close to all, and I obviously there's tons of the full arts that I don't have still and those honestly I don't want to be opening up a bunch of booster packs just to try and get them and if I want them I might just buy them single depending on the price and all that. There's one that I recently bought single and I'm like oh my god. <laughs> I'll show it to you. I spent $50 on it, which is wild, but I was having a really bad week and I wanted to treat myself, so I did. So, this is certainly not the way that you would organize your card collection, and I need you to be okay with that. And if this bothers you in any way, then this is not the video for you. Because, for example, you'll see my cards in here are in completely random order, and that's how I like it. Okay, I don't, I don't put them in order of like how it says to do it in this little booklet thing. So, if that bothers you at all, I understand. Just feel free to not watch. <laughs> I, it's it's cool, but this is just how I want to do it. And honestly, this is just supposed to be like a really fun hobby for me. There is enough things in my life to stress about. I do not need something else to stress about, like a perfectly organized binder uh, or having the complete master set and all that. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there because I know people can get really passionate <laughs> and opinionated about this and that's cool. Like if that's really important to you, amazing. But to me, it's, it's just really just for fun. I collect these very casually. All right, so with that PSA out there, let's uh, kind of just get started. So let me just explain to you my process. So basically, I use this booklet as a way to track obviously what I have or not already. And if I have one line going through it, it means I have um, either the base or like a reverse um, foil or holographic. If I have an X going through it, it means I have two versions, so like the base and then probably a reverse hollow. And honestly, it's good enough for me, even just the one line. If I have at least one version of it, I'm really happy with that. Um, so this is what I had before I acquired like all of this. So there's quite a few to go through to check to see if I have them or not. I don't want to be putting like a thousand of the same one um, in my binder. For example, I have, I must have so many gold ducks at this point. One is enough uh, in here. And so yeah, I'm gonna go through, see what I have um, in my little piles over here that I don't already have, mark them off, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I have, and then we'll insert the new cards into the binder. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, 
just putting the binder aside. If that sounds interesting at all to you, I invite you to keep watching. And please, if you like this type of content, please let me know by leaving a little like below. It really, really helps my channel to grow. I don't, I'm, I'm really bad at asking <laughs> for people to like my videos. If you're so inclined and you like this type of uh, content, uh, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you haven't already done so. With that said, I'm going to change the camera angle and we'll get started. So, okay, be right back. Okay, so we are back and I've got this cute little <laughs> 151 mat that came with one of the collections that I got. So, show you what we're working with here. These two stacks of cards. These I know for sure are ones that I don't already have in the binder. These I need to go through. I think there's at least a few that I don't already have. And as I go along, I'm just going to mark off um, what I have or not. And you'll notice that some of these are already sleeved up into like top loaders or not. I'm going to be moving them all to a, one of these uh, perfect fit um, sleeves so that I can then put them in the bind. Okay. There's, again, a lot of controversy as to how this is the correct way to do this when putting cards into a binder. This is how I do it, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be snarky or anything, but I'm really not looking for opinions. This, again, very casual, very fun, and really important to note, I'm not going to be selling any of this. This is really just for me. So, I'm just going to get this open. But these are the um, perfect fit sleeves that I buy. Honestly, I just get them off Amazon. I just searched up perfect fit. I don't know why they're wrapped like this, but I also have my trusty scissors here, so I'm just going to One is going to be enough, just because I don't have that much to be adding in. I think that these energies are just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm just putting as many as I have into the binder because they just make a really nice little addition to a page. They just make me really happy. But these are not in the correct um, sleeves, so I'm going to remove and put it into one of these perfect Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna move these off to the side. Alrighty. Okay, so I guess I'll, I'm gonna put this aside and I'll start with what I know I don't already have in the binder. So I've got this really nice Mew EX card. And let's just go and mark it off. It must be near the end here. So Mew. And I would have put it directly in the perfect fit sleeve, but I was all out when I opened this, so yeah. Mew EX. Next, I've got this full art Dragonair. Love it. Okay. 
switch in with his leaf. So I think this, this process is going to take a while. Gotta be really careful when you put them in there. Next, I've got this Wiggly Tuff EX. Wiggly Tuff EX, which is right here. Mark it off. These are ones that I pulled in these little mini tins. I made a video a couple weeks ago at this point, maybe two weeks ago, opening up the mini tins and there was just like gold in there, so uh, oops. Blastoise EX Blastoise EX Okay, okay. So I apologize once again for any barking that you hear in the background. I cut out as much as I possibly can. It's just, and I talk about this in like every video, so I'm sorry if you're somebody who watches every video. The neighbor's dog is downstairs, just, it's, it's a problem. Like, they bark non-stop every day, but yeah, so I'm doing my best. But here's Venusaur EX. And you're probably noticing a very... <laughs> special card here. This is the Erica's invitation and you're gonna notice a price on it. That's because <laughs> I spent $50 to get this one card because I really like it and wanted it and yeah so I went to <laughs> a local shop that sells like bunch of nerd stuff including Pokemon cards and they had this one as a single for sale and I saw somebody else eyeing it up he was taking pictures of it and I don't know maybe considering it or wanting to resell it or something and I said no <laughs> so I grabbed it because yeah I was like sitting there umming and awing about it and then I saw him like taking pictures of it and I was like uh uh uh, this is mine. So I've got the beautiful Erica's invitation and honestly No regrets on that one. So No regrets, okay, so these are all some that I didn't already have and If I'm being real honest with you, these are all cards in this stack here that my fiance pulled and he gave it to me because he's amazing. Um, he really wants to try and help me finish up the set, so I just have to go through and mark off the ones here. So here, I forgot to do that. Venusaur EX, which I know is at the beginning. Yeah, so he gave me um, a whole bunch of them that he pulled, which is really just so sweet. <laughs> Of him. We were opening cards together, like his cards had arrived. I had already opened mine <laughs> and his arrived a bit later and we were opening them together and then all of a sudden at the end he's just like, okay, which one of these don't you have already <laughs> here? And he just gave it to me, so he's a sweetie pie. What can I say? I'm very lucky. So Cloister, I did not already have that one, so let's... This is the part where it's gonna be a little bit, um, up here. Cloister. See, for example, I just have the common card of this one, and honestly, that's more than good enough for me, um, to say that, like, I'm satisfied I have it. At least I have one version of it in my collection, so. Cloister. Oops. Neato Queen, which should be around here. Neato Queen. There we go. And I sleeve up even just the common cards, just in this case, because I don't know, just I just want them to stay in good condition because 
this collection is just really special and nostalgic to me so this is the only collection I think that I'll ever be trying to complete and if I don't complete it that's fine too like I'm not gonna drive myself crazy about it because there are a lot of full art cards that are really 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 rare um, but yeah so they're getting a little bit slippery because of the sleeves so it's kind of hard to keep them in check but Horsey, horsey, horsey. I didn't already have horsey. Yeah. Horsey. Okay. Persian. Persian. Daisy's help. That should be near the end. Daisy's help. had a muck. Maybe I had the reverse. I'm gonna put it aside because I can see that I already had a muck, so we'll see about that. Kakuna. Kakuna should be closer to the beginning. I'm really bad at remembering the numbers of the Pokemon that would help me a lot because they are in order, but yeah. Kakuna. Okay. Just take a few sleeves out at once because it'll be a lot easier that way. Bellsprout. 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 Here. these he had put in top loaders. He does that with all hollows. So what I'm going to do is just remove them all from the top loaders and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've removed them from the top loaders. Now, I also have this one. This one was part of the... he got the ultra premium, I'm not sure the exact name of the box, but the big box with the <laughs> Mew related uh, promo cards. This one is like a, a metal card. It's really interesting. And uh, yeah, so some of these are, fr are promo cards and some of these are from cards that he pulled from booster packs. So I'm still gonna put the metal card in here, why not? Um, I'm just going to, this one won't be in here because it was a promo card. Uh, Moltres, Moltres. Moltres, okay, which will be in here. Moltres, Ninetales EX. Love this card, so pretty. Ninetales EX. Kangaskhan EX. Some of them just slide right in, and some of them have a bit more difficulty. Okay. Kangaskhan, let's just. Mark that off. Raichu. Oops. Raichu. Oh, 
old amber. Reverse hollow. Right away, I'll get B drill is over here. Reverse holographic B drill. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I got the full art Mr. Mime. And you're gonna see a peek of a really cool card under there, but this full art Mr. Mime. Love this one. So I'm just gonna Get a sleeve. Okay, and mark that Giovanni's Charisma. This card is really cool. Flareon, Flareon. Love me an evolution. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. All right, Pikachu, which I will. Mark off and victory bell, which I think is right here. Yeah, victory bell. Maybe a controversial opinion, but I like reverse hollow cards better than hollow cards. I just think they look prettier in a binder. Now, these three, I believe were the three promo cards that he got. Yeah, they definitely are because of the sparkle here. He got three promo cards because he got the Alakazam EX um, box from the collection. So <clears throat> I do not think that these are in here. So I already had an Abra and a Kadabra, but not this edition. So I'm going to I'll leave that aside for a sec because I am going to add it into the slots that I already have. Now, I know that some people are against that, but that's just how I do. I did not have um, the Alakazam EX that you can pull, but I have this promo card over here. Um, so I'm still going to leave it as that I don't have it because it's a different card. Um, but yeah, so that one I'm going to leave up. Pretty. And he also got the uh, Zapdos EX, the Zapdos, excuse me, the Zapdos box as well. And I think he had also pulled Zapdos, so I'm not sure if that's the one. No, so this is the one from the promo. Um, this is the promo card. It looks different than the Zapdos EX that you can pull. So I'm also not going to mark it that I have that one because it is a different card. But this will be going in the binder. Now, these two are the promo cards that he pulled, not pulled, the promo cards that came with the um, Ultra Premium box. 
along with the metal um, Mew card. So I'm going to leave those up and there's nothing to mark off here because again, they are promo cards. So Mew EX and Mewtwo. I have to be real, I don't really like this Mewtwo card very much. I find it too dark that you can't really see Mewtwo in it. I feel like it would have been nicer if they had something more vibrant happening. Now, speaking of vibrant, we have the... Honestly, this seems to be a really, really rare card because it's... The last one over here, Basic Energy Psychic Gold. I don't really know how to properly call this, but it's very, very pretty. And it is one that you can pull. It's actually the last one in this little list here, so very cool. Um, Okay, now I'm just gonna, I see this one poking. I did know that he also pulled a Zapdos EX, so I'm gonna mark that one off because we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. And the sleeve, very pretty. Next we've got Vile Plume. So I've just, I don't know if I cut this out or not, but I obviously marked it off because I got it. It's just that the neighbors are just out of control right now, so. Um, all right. War Turtle. So I've got this really cute full art War Turtle. I also have the Squirtle one already, which is already in my binder, which I'll show it to you when we get there. Okay. War Turtle. I'm gonna mark it. Arbok EX. Arbok EX. Very cute. Love the colors on this card. The green with the purple. Makes it really stand out. Okay. Makes it really stand out. I've got an Electabuzz here. I'm not sure if this was a promo card. No, I don't think so because it doesn't have the fun little sparkle thing on it. But you know what? It might have been. No, it does have the sparkle. I think it was a promo card. I think it came in the Zapdos box because I see here that I already have both uh, two versions of the Electabuzz card. So I'm just going to leave that aside because I might just add it to... The, the 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 sleeve that I already have the two other cards in. Now I've got three more of these um, nice basic energy cards with the pretty shine to it. So I'm gonna sleeve those up. Going to sleeve those up. I just love these sparkly basic energy cards. I think they're so pretty. Such a nice, like, extra thing. Alright. So these are everything I'm going to add for sure, for sure. Alright, so what I'm going to do is pause right now, go through the binder to make sure which ones of these I have or not, put the rest aside, and then we'll start slotting so that you guys don't have to watch the boring parts. So, I'll be back. Okay. So I've gone through the binder to see which ones I already had of these. These are the ones I'm going to be adding into the sleeves that already exist. So for example, this is the normal, not <laughs> reverse holo card. I have the reverse holo, so I'm just going to add it into that sleeve. This one I have the regular and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these. And then these are all the new ones that we're going to be so, at this point, I'm going to start showing you what I have, and then as we go slotting things in, I think. Um, so, I'm just going to readjust. Alright, so, 
I'm gonna go through here. I'm just gonna show you what I've got. Again, they're not in any particular order. That's how I like it. I just think it's really pretty like that. So I've got a fire basic energy, the sparkly one, far-fetched, shelter, slowpoke, dragonite, jinx ex, jolteon, aerodactyl, and magikarp. If I have the reverse hollow on top, there's two in there, it means that I have the common card underneath, so yeah, there's nothing here to add. No. Okay. Alright, here I've got Krabby, Basic Energy, Psychic, Fero, Onyx, Ponyta, Muck, and here I'm going to add the Muck card here. This is the basic one, and I've got the reverse hollow already, so I'm just going to slide that into the back, like so, and put it back in. Okay, Electabuzz, reverse hollow, so here I have the, I think I have the Electabuzz promo card, yeah I do. Okay, this one is the exact same image, just the promo card, so I am still going to add it in. Oops, I have two in here already. I'm going to put them all into one sleeve. Again, I know that that is not how everyone does it, but that really is fine. So I'm going to actually put the promo card on top. I usually prefer um, reverse hollow, but this is a promo card. It's fun, so I'm going to just slide it in as so. Alright, uh, so Muck, Electabuzz, Antique, Helix, Fossil, Squirtle, and this is a Squirtle uh, promo card uh, that is different than like the, the basic Squirtle that you can pull from the set. Leftovers, Rhyhorn, Polyrath, Butterfree, Porygon, Charmander, this is a promo card as well. I think it was from the poster collection. Pidgeot, Ammonite, Tangela. Right. Coughing, Psyduck, Sandshrew, Taurus, Magmar, Abra. And I know that I have an Abra promo card to add in, so I'm going to do that here. Promo card on top. If the image looks the same, I'm just going to include it together. So. Nido King Kadabra, which again I have a promo card, which I will add in. Okay, so here I've got three versions of this card, all separate sleeves, so we're just going to sleeve them up together. The promo, the basic, the reverse hollow is here, which that one will go. And back in. Right, Ivysaur, Basic Energy, Steel, Ekans, Doduo, Tentacool, Metapod, Mr. Mime, Machoke, Zubat, Dugong, Full Art, Charmander, Cycling Road, Seal, Dragonair, Seedra, Cubone, Grimer, Kabuto, Gloom, Poliwag, Full Art, Caterpie, Hypno, Vaporeon, Bulbasaur, this one is a promo card as well, Raticate, Full Pix, Doug Trio, Basic Energy, Psychic, I've got a free space here so we're gonna add something in, Chansey, Sandslash, Snorlax, Goldeen, Wigglytuff EX, Poliwhirl, Pidgey. I've got a free space. I want to add something fun in there. Like a full art. Full art. Why not? Let's add this here. This Mew EX card. Just add some spice to the page. <laughs> so Mew EX, Lucky Tongue. Snorlax. This was a promo card that came with the Elite Trainer Box for this um, series. Executor, Rhydon, 
energy sticker. Clefairy, and I think I've got Clefairy. No, that's a Clefable. Oops, did we pass Clefable already? No. Clefairy, Articuno, Geodude, Arcanine, Kingler, Grabber, Oddish, Machamp, Squirtle, Doge Rio, <laughs> Mewtwo, Growlithe, Dratini, Diglett. Is there a Diglett to add? I think that there might be. No. Okay. These are the ones we have to add. I'm just going to keep them on display so I can see them. You can't see them, but I can see them. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Venonat, Drowsy, Nido King, Spiro. This Nido King full art is really pretty. Spiro, Kabutops, Sea King, Rapidash, Nidorino, Slowbro, Staryu, Paris, Jigglypuff. So we're gonna add this reverse hollow Jigglypuff right into this sleeve right here. Alright. Cute. Ghastly, Charizard EX, Magnemite, Graveler, Golbat, Bills Transfer, Alakazam EX. Really cute card. <laughs> really pretty. The colors are really great. Execute, Ditto, Mankey, Nidorino. So here I'm going to add our Reverse Hollow Nidorino right into the sleeve where I already have the common card of the the dark reverse hollows are so hard to see but that is what it is <laughs> a basic energy electric sparkly card war turtle antique dome fossil clefable weedle meowth starmy magneton Zapdos EX. This card is really cool. Zapdos EX. And then in the back you can see Moltres and Articuno, which is really fun. Parasect, Weezing, Gengar, Basic Energy, Water, Sparkly card, Protective Goggles, Nidoran, Female, Pinsir, Beautiful Machoke card. I love this full art card. It's a him helping people move. It's really amazing. Omastar, Charmander, Golduck, Hitmonchan, Eevee, Caterpie, Full Art, Squirtle, Hitmonlee, Radita, Fire, Basic Energy, Sparkly Card, Charmeleon, Weepin' Bell, Lapras, Giovanni's Charisma, Haunter, Alakazam, EX, beautiful, beautiful card, Tentacruel, Machop, Bulbasaur, Voltorb, Erica's Invitation, Basic Energy, Psychic, Sparkly card, Rigid Band, Primeape, Charizard, EX, and Psychic. Just going back because I forgot to add the Clefable reverse hollow that I have into this sleeve. Just adding her in there, and that's that. So, now I'm at the part where I'm going to add the new cards in. Let's add Bellsprout here. Okay, so let's, let's just go for it. Why not? Editing Cozy here. I'm really upset because I'm gonna have to cut a lot of stuff out because I didn't realize that you can see my face in the reflection when there's no cards in there. I apologize for that. This part is going to be not as great as I anticipated it. I just don't currently want my face on the internet as I'm searching for jobs. So, sorry about that. Alright. That's this page done. So Primeape, Charizard EX, Scyther, Bellsprout, Cloyster, Flareon, Zapdos EX, Pidgeotto, and a basic energy fighting sparkly card. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them other than sparkly card, but yeah. Alright, so I've got let's put a Daisy's help. Why not? 
Lizzie's help. Cut this. Let's put a nice full art in here. Why not? Got a lot of nice cards to be adding in. Just like to mix them up. Horsey. Let's add a Persian. Let's put an EX. And let's put this. And this is that gonna fill up all the spaces? Let's see. Okay. Alright, Venusaur EX. Put more turtle in here. type card to put in there because that would be pretty. Add some color. Okay, I'm gonna switch something out. I want my, my pages to look <laughs> to look fun like that. So here I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna swap out here we go. I'm gonna swap out this slow bro. And this page doesn't have, well, it has a full art here, but let's go ahead and add this sparkly card here instead. It's basic energy. And slow bro right in here. My chair is making a lot of noise right now, and I don't know why. I'm just going to rearrange myself. I apologize for the chair sounds, just I don't know what's going on. It's very squeaky today, so yeah. Okay, let's do another page. I've got my beautiful Erica's invitation. And let's put her next to Vile Plume because that just makes sense now, doesn't it? Pikachu can go here. Old Amber. Moltres. And put this air balloon, Nido Queen, Cloister, and let's put another fun card here. Let's put a Wigglytuff EX. All right, Erica will be front and center, and File Bloom will be right next to her. Let's put Wigglytuff up here. And big air balloon, neato queen, cloister, antique old amber, Moltres, and Pikachu. Pikachu. Okay. I really like this page. <laughs> All right. Okay, a lot of what I have left is EXs or full arts, so I'm gonna have to start playing around with things, I think. Okay, let's see. So again, I do want this to look kind of random, so this page doesn't have any EXs or um, or full arts at all, so I'm gonna remove Dratini here and add. What am I gonna add? Let's add Arbok. Arbok EX in here. And let's see, what else can I play around with? There's a promo card here, but I'm gonna pull something out from here and swap it. So let's swap Geodude. Oops. All right, here, I'm just gonna fix this because I've got them sleeved separately. Let's swap Geodude. And instead, we're gonna put in, let's 
put in this U2 card. Nice. Okay. Let's swap out Gloom here for for this gold psychic basic energy card. Okay. All right, this page doesn't have any full arts or any EX, so we're going to swap. Um, we're going to swap Magmar in the middle here for. Let's do Giovanni's Charisma. This page needs a little excitement, I think, so. Let's add Giovanni in right in here. And actually, this page doesn't have any EXs or full arts either, so we're going to do another swap. So. Just I'm trying to choose colors that will look nice all together for a page. So let's swap Dugong. Oh, here I have them sleeved separately. I'm just going to fix that. I decided halfway through <laughs> that's how I was going to do it and then didn't go back and fix what I had already done. So I'm going to add Blastoise EX in here. Okay. Um, okay, these pages at the beginning need a little bit of excitement, so let's take out Porygon and put Mr. Mime full art in here. Um, and let's do Onyx and add in Let's add a new EX here. There's no pink on this page, so why not? This first page over here has a Jinx EX, but let's, you know what, let's, let's put this amazing Metal Mew promo card up in here. So I'm gonna take Shelter out and put this Mew EX Metal card. Because that just makes sense. All right, let's go back and see what what we can do with what we've got. Let's make a cute little page. <laughs> okay, so let's do Nine Tails, EX, Beedrill, Shelter, Onyx. Let's do a steel sparkly <laughs> basic energy um let's do magmar and maybe alakazam and dratini and hmm. Let's do Victory Bell. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Alright, shoulder. Nine Tails, EX, B drill. Basic energy, steel, sparkly, sparkly card. Onyx, Magmar. Alakazam EX Dratini Victory Bell Cute Okay I think we're gonna fill up one last page here So let's see what we've got left Oops Something slid under here and that was Porygon Okay One Two Three four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're gonna put these all on this page. It doesn't seem very evened out to me, but as I add more, we'll play around with it some more. So, D 
Dugong. Let's do Dragonair over here. Kangaskhan EX Porygon Porygon um, Zapdos EX Gloom 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 Geodude and Basic Energy Water Sparkly Card. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what I've got for now. So we've made a few new pages. We filled this one up. So one, two, three, four, and almost five. So that's my card organization video for now. If you're still here at the end, you're awesome. I know this is a long video, but I really needed to organize my cards anyway. I figured I would show you guys and I know that um, other people are interested by how other people organize their stuff and um, just generally this 151 collection if you're a 90s kid this is probably your jam <laughs> if you liked Pokemon growing up so um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video I sorry I'm sorry that it's a little bit long but um, I needed to do this, so I hope that you've enjoyed it nonetheless. I thank you for being here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or night, whenever you're watching. <laughs>